Hello and welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. We're going to be leveling up our forces here. We've got the Nurgle Warrior. I'm going to go for Claw because this kind of makes sense in my opinion. I kind of want these guys to be much bashier and we need them to inflict casualties to be able to get skill points so that they can level up even further. So we're just going to get him Claws. I actually wonder how that's going to look. It's going to look pretty cool in my opinion. Anyway, we're going to get Lord Huggington block, I assume. Probably going to be doing that. Oh, he rolled doubles. Okay, I don't actually... Yeah, you, so you can actually take... <laughs> that's actually really funny. So you can actually take some of the other things if you want. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be going for any of these, even though dodge could be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, no, no, nothing like this is really looking that good to me. And we're going to be taking Block, I think, because even though Claw is really, really good, I think Block is literally just one of the greatest things you can take. It r just removes one of the most annoying things to happen, which is the both down mechanic. So I'm going to be taking Block. Unfortunately, I would have liked to have gone, as I say, for Claw so that he can get more skill points and things, but I think Block is just a safer option. And this fellow, he's probably going to be going for Block as well. A bit of a boring option here. Oh, wow. He also rolled a double. That is weird. Okay. Uh, hmm. I kind of feel, you know what? Should I go for Piling On? Because piling on is, uh, you may re-roll the armor roll or injury roll for the victim. The piling on, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Wait a minute. What is the thing that I need to go for with these guys? Because now I'm thinking to myself, should I go for something else? No, I'm thinking block. I'm thinking block. I just want to make sure that these guys are difficult to dislodge. That's the... The main thing here for us, in my opinion. Anyway, I can now go for some more cheerleaders, which I will do. And I will also buy a player. I think I need to buy a rotter, don't I? Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and do that. We're going to call him... Uh, what are we going to call him? Uh, drunken Mess. There we go. Perfect. What a wonderful name that is. There we go. And it's all in caps as well, which is even better. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so last point in the cheerleader. Wonderful. And now we are up against another Kislev team. This is going to be kind of interesting because the last time we fought against the Kislev, they were leaping all over the place and they were making things a bit difficult for us. All right, so here we go. These are the Kislev and they have a halfling chef. I don't know whether you noticed that before we entered the match. But yes, they have a halfling chef. They're probably going to steal three rerolls from me. What do you bet? What do you bet? I'm probably going to say yes. Okay, they're now deciding. Uh, yep, yep, there we go. I called it. <laughs> they stole three from me. They have eight. They have eight rerolls. Are you serious right now that they have eight rerolls? That is absolutely ludicrous. I have no idea what's going on with that. All right. Yeah, so it's defense. So, uh, yeah, pff, whatever. We'll just place it something like that. I don't really, uh, I don't really mind too much about that. And they're going to very easily be able to leap all over the place, no doubt. Random direction. All right, that's perfectly fine. That's actually a pretty perfect kick for us because it obviously puts it relatively far back in their side of the pitch. And we obviously want that. You know, we want to be able to get through the opponent super, super fast. Unfortunately, this guy has very long legs. Is he a catcher, actually? He is a catcher. Oh, look at that. He actually rolled badly. He's rolling badly once again. Okay, that's pretty good. Not too bad. That roster actually has block, which is pretty good too. He has, you know... Having block is really, uh, really useful in most cases. Or at least I think so. And there's more very long legs. I feel like that's such an incredible ability, actually. Really, really good. Okay, so let's see. Who has claws here? This guy has claws. So let's see if we can actually do something. Ooh, does he have block? No, he doesn't have dodge. He doesn't have anything like that. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, he got stunned. Okay, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with his first roll. I'm pretty happy with that. That's that's quite nice. Okay, this is not so nice. I'm going to re-roll this. Okay. Uh, great. Already re-rolled ones. Terrible, isn't it? 
Okay, uh, hmm. Gonna have to do a little bit of a blitzy blitzy action, I assume. I'm actually gonna move over. I can't even move over there. Uh, we can do this. He's got a block as well, which is amazing. So, yeah, look at this. Block is actually saving us right now. Pretty perfect. Nice stun, too. Kind of happy with that. Now we can maybe do something here. Yes, we can. Okay, that's also great. Uh, I'm just going to leave the beast round about here to fight against this guy. And then we're just going to move this fellow over here into this tackle zone. And then we're going to try and murder the catcher if we can. Yes. Okay, actually pretty good. Okay. So now he's over there. Now I would like to move my Pestigors. We're going to move this Pestigore over here. Bark's going to deal with this guy. Hopefully he's going to be able to push him off the pitch. And this guy is going to be blitzed. Oh yes. You're going to die, sir. You better. Bork, I am trusting you, sir. You better do this. Do this for Pestigors everywhere. Is he, is he going to kill him? No, no, that's a stun. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, yeah, go for it. I, he, oh, no, he didn't do it. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. All right. Well, never mind. Let's move over here and we can hopefully do a little bit of a roll with this fellow. Nice. No dodge either. He's also using Fend, which is not exactly great. But oh, wait a minute. What do we have? No. Nope. All right. Not getting anything to give us skill points, unfortunately, but... That was our first turn, if you can believe it. That was actually a pretty destructive turn. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's pretty good. I'm, I'm liking that quite a bit. Anyway, yeah, this guy is obviously going to be attempting to use his leap as much as he possibly can. So we need to get right into his face and try to smash it to bits. That is what we will try to do. Um, but it very much depends on if we can actually remove some of the people from the pitch at this point. Because removing them by KOing them or injuring them or whatever is definitely going to be the most important thing. Very surprised actually that he failed that dodge. Whoa, he failed it twice. That was a 67%. Very interesting. He needed a 3. And he also, he also KO'd himself. Okay, that's great fantastic that was a huge huge waste for this guy for certain and uh yeah now we're in a really really good position okay so hmm right what are we gonna do now well that's the question isn't it i guess i'm just gonna roll here against this guy try to push him over here gonna follow a little bit then this guy can not do anything because he's going to have to dodge past the polar bear. That's not really going to work out too well, is it? Okay, what about this then? Oh, are you serious? Really? Okay, well, I guess we freed up someone. Uh, I guess I'll just move him here. Doesn't really do much. Kind of want to... Yeah. Okay, let's roll here against this guy. Okay, lucky. Pretty lucky. Oh, 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 are we getting? Are we getting something? Nope, nope, we're not getting anything. All right, to be expected. Okay, so let's move this guy over here. He's obviously going to want to push the catcher out away from people. And we're otherwise just going to do a nice little blitz with Bork here. I have a lot of faith in Bork right now, so I'm very much hoping he's going to injure this guy. Okay, he didn't. <laughs> well, that's fine. It's not that big a deal because we're actually now in his tackle zone, which is quite good. Because now I can move this fellow over here. I'm just going to move him straight in straight in his face. Straight in his face. And we'll otherwise move this guy over here for, for the beast. I'm not sure whether we should really do anything with him, to be honest, right now. Uh, hmm, this guy should probably move over here as well, potentially. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, he's going to leap, isn't he? I'm going to assume he's going to leap. Most of the time, the Kislev do tend to do that quite often. Uh, we can do something here, potentially. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh, no, nothing. All right. Uh, oh, well. But again, that was literally our second turn, and we're knocking people down. We're, we're getting ourselves opportunities to inflict casualties, which is obviously the main deal here. You know, we are a bashy team for the most part. And he is able to dodge out of that, amazingly enough. Uh, what a classic. I, I, you know, I actually feel like, oh, wow, he's actually trying to attack us. Hmm. 
All right. Um, yeah, anyway, I actually feel like what would be really, really cool is if when a person is in multiple tackle zones of multiple units, it's kind of a bit strange how they're able to get out of it so easily and roll just a, just a two just to get out of it. I don't know. It feels a bit weird to me, but I don't know. That, that's, that's the rules. Those are the rules. So, you know, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm just saying, you know, we had three people on the guy and he was able to get out of it. So obviously that's, you know, it has nothing to do with anything, but I'm just saying. Anyway, let's see if I can actually... I can blitz this guy if I want to. We can roll something here. No, that's not really going to do much. We can get this guy up if we want to as well. Alright, so he should probably go over here. We want to... Where's my claw guy? Where's my claw guy? Is he, uh, Here's my claw guy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and injure this lineman here. And... Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, he got KO'd. Fantastic. Okay, perfect. I mean, obviously not perfect, because we'd like an injury if we can. But I'm pretty happy with how that went. And now maybe we can do something here. Yeah, we can maybe... Um, okay, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Okay, so this guy, okay, yeah, so what I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Because I'm having a feeling that this guy is gonna try and run along the side here, and he's just gonna leap over. I'm gonna assume that he's just gonna leap over, um, don't look so good, and that's probably what he's gonna try to do. So, we're gonna see if we can maybe prevent that from happening. Let's just move this guy over here. Just try to kill as many people as possible. Get him into another tackle zone. We can maybe have the beast roll against the bear here. Ooh, that's actually working. Wow, okay. I still, you know, I really... Oh, you know what I really want to get with the beast? I really want to get claws or something like that. Because I, I, I don't even know whether they can get claws, right? Can they, can they get claws? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out very, very soon. Anyway, uh, oh, that actually worked. Wow, okay. Definitely wasn't expecting that for a second. Okay, so let's just move like so. And we can do a two. Really? Okay. That's kind of weird. All right, so now we're in a tackle zone of this guy. So now he has to roll a dodge, which is pretty good. And I'm not going to take the chance with anything else here. So we're just going to end the turn. All right, not too bad. Working out pretty nicely for us here. Okay, let's see. Okay, he's blitzing. Uh, uh, that's kind of to be expected, I suppose. I don't really mind if they do anything to this guy. He doesn't have any skill points or anything like that. And he was stunned. Okay, that's actually fine. But he is clearing a path, which is, as I expected, exactly right next to Bork. Which is definitely bad for him. This is really, really bad for him. Because going right next to Bork, especially when he has the ability to blitz at such high power, he should be he should be pretty pretty scared right now. In my opinion, at least. But now that I've said that, Bork is probably going to roll double down, uh, double attacker down, or or something along those lines. Oh, look at that! An injury! From an, from an attacker down roll. That is hilarious. I never would have expected that. Okay. And he got some uh, he got some skill points from it too. He actually leveled up from that. That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, so Bark is over there. We're going to move this guy into position here. Just because you never know what can happen. Um, I need to roll some other things. Okay, so let's just move this guy here. Yeah, this is my claw guy, so I really want to inflict some casualties with him if at all possible. Okay, let's just try and roll this. Okay, not lucky. But we can move into a tackle zone, which is quite good. Two, two people's tackle zone, actually. And then we can do, we can just do something. We can just do something like this. Okay, perfect. Does he have dodge? No, he doesn't have dodge. Okay, perfect. Very nice. All right. He got. Are you ser? Are you serious right now? 
Are you serious? Okay, well, apparently he is. Mr. Popcorn is doing a fantastic job. Yes, indeed. A fantastic job, indeed. All right. <laughs> Very strange. Okay, well, there we go. Let's do some damage here, then. Let's do some damage here as well. Oh, nice. That's actually working really, really well for us. And now we can actually move this guy. We can even move him here if we want to. So we can maybe prevent this guy from even moving. That might be kind of fun. And uh, let's just provide this fellow with a little bit of assistance here. This guy is making it possible for this to move. There we go. All right. Yeah. So we're just going to leave this guy here because he's obviously making the beast able to move here. And he's providing a little bit of extra assistance as well. And otherwise, we're just going to go into the next turn. I highly doubt... We are going to be able to get any score here. I don't think we're going to be able to touch the ball down or score the ball. Touch the ball down. Well, you can tell I don't watch American football, right? Yeah. <laughs> touch the ball. Has anyone ever said that, really? Touch the ball down? I don't know. That sounds really, really weird to me. But yes, anyway, scored the ball. Let's go with that. 83% chance he failed that twice. Is he me? Is he me? Because that's exactly what Bork would have done. He would have failed that twice, 100%. What do you bet? Anyway, okay, so what we want to do is we want to hand off the ball. So we're going to hand off the ball straight up. There you go. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I'm super surprised right now. Okay, yeah, so let's just get this guy up. As you can see, one of my Nogam Warriors is currently being surrounded. Not a big fan of that, got to say. So I'd like to try and prevent that from being a bit of a problem. Um, let's move this guy over here. Um, I'm actually going to be blitzing with the Rotter. Because the Rotter does have block. So, going to be good enough. There we go. Follow. Oh, nice, nice. We might get a little bit of damage. No, no. Okay, just a stun, but that's absolutely fine. And now what we're going to do is we're literally just going to move... All the way over there. And we're going to do the same thing with Bork. There we have it. I'd actually like Bork to score this one if at all possible. Because if Bork can score, he's going to level up. And that's going to be pretty impressive. Or at least I think so. And can we roll anything here? Anything good? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, let's roll this one. Nope. All right. Not getting very lucky about that. Okay, yeah, we're just going to stay here because I want to make sure that everyone's in a tackle zone. Uh, I don't I don't really want to do anything against the, the bear because I don't want to waste my reroll. Uh, this guy is obviously free to move because he can very easily dodge and everything, but he's by himself. What is he going to do against two Pestigors, right? What is he going to do? There's no way. We're going to easily be able to score this. I know I said literally moments ago that it's going to be very difficult for us to score the ball. But I think now that we have the two Pestigors in the enemy's side of the, of the pitch, we should be much more likely to get any score whatsoever. Let's just see whether that happens. All right, so the, the bear is doing stuff. Not re I don't really care about that too much, to be honest, but... I'd, I'd really like us to get some more skill points with some of our Nurgle Warriors because I, I personally feel like this claw thing, this claw skill, seems pretty amazing. Seems really, really strong. Okay, so anyway, let's just get some people up here. Where's my claw guy? Is that him there? Yeah, that's him right there. Okay, well, we're going to have to blitz with someone else. So, or do I? Do I have to blitz with someone else, actually? I could do something a little bit different here. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I do actually have to blitz, don't I? Okay, yeah, this might be... Okay, let's do... Wait a minute, let me just go here, then blitz. Okay, come on now. Oh ho ho, ho ho, hello. That is really nice. Uh, stay. Oh, hello. Are we going to get something good? Nope, just a stun. But that's fine. That keeps him out of action for... A pretty pretty good amount of time. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's just move him a little bit closer. 
And now we can probably just mark this guy. I'm just going to mark a couple of people just to make it a little, little harder. You know, nothing, nothing too dramatic, of course, but just a little bit more difficult. And we're going to just move here. I'm just going to try and injure people as much as I can now with this guy. Mr. Popcorn is ready. And maybe the beast can actually do something too. Or maybe we can get our Noga Warriors in on the action. Okay, so let's get this guy. He's got block as well. Oh, perfect. That's very nice. And we'll just have the beast roll something here. Oh, that was... <laughs> All right, yeah, that's fine. Sure. It's not like I was actually wanting to do anything else after that anyway. I, I did that very specifically on purpose because... You know, it's, if it's the last action, I might as well give it a go. And I wouldn't mind the beast getting a little more skill points. Just one more skill point would be enough for us to get something potentially really good. And I don't really mind if they waste their blitz with the bear. Because they're wasting it very dramatically right now. Really not very useful for them to do that. And uh, yeah, we're going to be pretty good here. I believe. Yeah, this is definitely a victory for us. I'm going to be throwing the ball, however. Not sure if that's going to be a good idea, but we do have the two Pestigors. This guy is already down. This guy can potentially go, this Noga Warrior can potentially go and blitz the enemy that is coming close to us right now. So that should be sorting him out relatively well. So even if he fails to catch it, it shouldn't be that bad. So we're going to just move him over here into the end zone. And then we're just going to move this guy. It's going to be a short, short little throw. Quick pass. Boom. He did it. No, he didn't. He failed to catch it at an 83% reroll. He did it. Okay. <laughs> that was close. All right, that was close. Okay, Bork, you gave me a bit of a fright there, sir. Yes, you gave me a little bit of a fright. But, uh, yes. Anyway, those guys are still injured. These guys, One of them is still knocked unconscious. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And we are in defense once again. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stay with the same setup. I don't see a problem with that. And let's see if we get a good kick. Good kick out of things. Perfect defense. Okay. Uh, rearrange your team setup however you like. Okay. I guess I'm just going to move some people a little bit ahead here. And I think that will be fine. I, I'm, I, I like to be a bit aggressive and uh, see if we can maybe get onto their side of the pitch before they're able to enter ours with the ball. And uh, maybe, maybe that's going to be good. I don't know. But again... We're just going to try and inflict as many casualties as we can, especially with our claw guy. Our claw guy is just... I, I always want to roll blocks with him now because I feel like he has a much higher chance, even though it's literally just one. But it feels, it feels better, you know? It feels more satisfying when he attempts to attack. Okay, so unfortunately this guy did get lucky with his roll. But that's okay, because he's using a, a blitz against a pretty hardy opponent. Although, to be fair, Pestigors only do have armor value of 8. So it is still quite likely for him to injure us, but uh, we've gotten pretty lucky so far. Alright, so. Let's do this. Let's kill this guy. Oh, are you serious? Uh, okay, well, never mind then. Okay, what about... Okay, kill kill him. No. Are you serious? Ah, of course. <laughs> uh, that's my catchphrase in this series, for sure, isn't it? It's literally like, are you serious? Ah, or not, and so on. You know, all that. Okay, well, whatever the case, let's just stay around here. Oh, oh, hello, that's an injury and a half. Oh, no, that's just a stun. Okay. I was thinking to myself, oh, yeah, it's going to be an injury. No, no, it wasn't. Okay, we're going to just move the rotter over here. We're going to get some other people to close in on this guy if we can. I'm just going to go into the tackle zone of this catcher. We might be able to actually take down the bear potentially, maybe. No. Uh, oh well, never mind. 
Uh, we're going to go over here, though, with these guys. I'm going to move this fellow to go and assist Bork a little bit. And Bark is going to be the one to go into the uh, enemy's side of the pitch. Uh, let's just do a nice little blitz against this guy, I guess. Don't really see anything else we can do here with it. So might as well make use of it this way. Nice. Okay, uh, definitely not going to follow him. And we can then just move this guy over here. And there we have it. Okay, so this guy is probably going to move this way, right? He's going to move this way, very obviously. Oh no, actually, never mind. Oh, wh why was I even playing that like I was about to go and get the ball? I should have just gone and bashed as many people as possible. I thought that was actually the next next half already. I was, oh, I was an absolute imbecile. Okay, well, never mind. We've already scored. That's all that I really care about. Because that's the, that's the name of the game, you know. You, to win, you actually have to score the ball. It doesn't really matter whether you get as many bashes as possible. As, you know, if you don't score, then obviously you're not winning. So, yeah. I, I guess that's what every Skaven player tells themselves. Even if they've lost six rats in one, <laughs> in one turn or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, where's, my, where's my claw guy? Where's my claw guy? Where are you? There you are. Okay, come on, sir. Ah. Uh. Oh, you know, it pains me now. It pains me physically when he is unable to get a lethal block. And this guy is able to get a lethal block. Ugh, oh, okay, fine. Well, well, whatever. It's fine. Noga warriors are always relatively decent at doing what they do, but unfortunately my guys are getting pretty unlucky with everything. So that's sad, but... Oh well, not much I can say about that except let's block some more. Let's try and kill them. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's just mark this guy. Uh, maybe I just want to mark mark a two. Yeah, I just probably want to mark a two so that they can't actually use a block against us with a, a an assist blitz or something like that. That would not be too nice. Okay, so we're just going to go and pick up the ball with Bork. And then we're going to throw it. I'm literally just going to throw it straight off. Oh, he failed to throw it. Okay, I'm going to try and reroll that just for fun. Oh, he failed again. Oh, that's sad. Okay, I, I really wanted it to be a fun uh, fun little throw there, but 50% chance I think is a little bit too harsh. I'm, uh, I'm messing around a little bit now. I really shouldn't be doing that. But, you yeah, know, sometimes I like to have a little bit of fun with the percentages and with the, the various chances. But you can see here, he literally rolled a 1 twice in a row. And it wasn't actually even the fact that he rolled a 1. He could have rolled a 2 or a 3 and he still would have failed. So it's a bit weird that it would have been a, a one twice. This guy's trying to 50 50% block. He actually did it. Wow. Okay. He re-rolled it and was lucky enough to do it. All right. They're going to go and blitz this guy. I don't think they're really going to achieve much with this. But it's fine with me. You know, if they want to blitz someone that doesn't really... Uh, it's not really going to do much. Um, as you can see, they're not really doing much at all because these guys can literally just get up, form a tackle zone almost immediately once again, and then it's going to be fine. So, yeah, we're going to be okay here. And my claw guy can actually now do something once again. Yes. Okay, come on now. Here we go. Nah, he got a stun. All right, he got a stun. That's, uh, that's all I can really ask of him. Can't I? I think that's perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with that. Let's move this Nogal Warrior over here just to assist these Rotters a little bit. And then we'll try to do some damage to this guy. Oh, that's actually working. Nice. Okay, unfortunately, Fend is going to prevent us from actually going after him. So that's a bit sad. But otherwise, what we can do is we can go over here with Bark. Let's try and take him down. Oh, three die. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so he's using Fen. That's also good. Oh, kick him. Ah, kick him in the face. Yes, there we go. All right, so uh, Bork can now pick up. Wow, he actually failed the first one. All right, yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, be a bit careful, eh, Bork? All right, so yeah, we're otherwise just going to be moving over here. It's a bit of a more secure location for us. These guys are all on the right side, of course, so we want to be a bit careful about that. And we're otherwise just going to be moving this fellow over here there we go and those guys are both stunned the polar bear is not going to be moving anywhere and will very very rarely 
do anything actually at this point because we have tentacles of course so let's see what happens maybe we're gonna get lucky here I'd like my claw guy to get a blitz on one of these guys if at all possible they're actually all able to move away from this because the uh, they only need to roll a two or above so pretty easy for them to get out of it oh look look he's actually doing something okay he's actually wanting to attack the Noga warrior Okay, if he wants to do that, that's absolutely fine. He needs to roll a 10 or above. I mean, that's not out of the realm of possibility, especially for a 5 strength character, but yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult for him to do that. All right, yeah, now look, look at what they've done here. They've actually formed a really, really cool web of tackle zones. Kind of interesting to see that. All right. So let's uh, let's actually move some people over there, shall we? And we'll see if we can maybe lend Bork some assistance. I'd like Bark to score this one, if at all possible. So let's see if we can actually make that happen. Okay, so this guy's going to go here. He's going to mark that fellow. Basically, I'm just going to try and mark as many people as possible. And obviously, we are going to want to blitz. We're going to want to blitz someone and hopefully kill them uh, or you know try our best to do that okay so let's just move over here just mark that guy because we can't move anyone else and uh, okay um yeah i guess i what i can probably do is we can probably go over here with bork these guys are going to get up next turn which might be a bit of a problem so I'm not sure what we can really do with that I'm going to move this guy over here Bark can probably just act as a bit of a go-between there and otherwise we're just going to move here blitz this guy we've got claw we've got block we've got everything that we could ever want <laughs> yeah kill him no ah okay yeah we didn't get anything <laughs> as you might expect ah sad sad Oh well, never mind. Okay, so this guy's marking us. As you can see, not really going to do much though. I'm not really expecting them to let you know let us go without a fight, of course. And so I'm going to expect a blitz, probably from this guy. Yep, there you go. There's the blitz, and he is going to actually get lucky. Wow. Okay. Let's hope the ball doesn't go out of bounds. Okay, it didn't go out of bounds. All right, that's perfectly fine. Oh, he's actually picking it up. Oh, he actually made it. Wow, that is super lucky. That is so incredibly lucky for him. Okay, I'm very surprised he was able to do that. But that, that that's, that's okay, you know, that's absolutely fine. If he wants to go ahead and do that, then that's fine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to push him off the... We're going to push him off the pitch. Why, what, why wouldn't I, right? Why wouldn't I? So we're just going to push him off the pitch if we can. Let's see if we can actually do that. No, we can't because he's obviously being assisted by so many people. So let's see what I can do here. So we're just going to push this guy. Push this guy over here. Push this guy over there. We're just going to follow a little bit. There we go. And now we can also activate a blitz here if we want to, which I will do. And we can actually do this. There we go. And now this guy's going to be... He has to leap, right? He has to leap as far as I'm aware. So that's going to be maybe a bit of a problem for him. Or at least I can only hope that to be the case. Nice KO. Fantastic. That's what we wanted. He's not going to use an apothecary against that for sure. Most of the time the AI seems to save the apothecary for any death rolls as far as I can tell. But usually we're not going to be seeing many death rolls. Or at least I... I don't think so at least I mean you know it depends if we're lucky then we will be seeing some on the enemy side but for me yeah uh well maybe we won't get any from myself okay so we're just gonna move here we're all in this really weird little little area and I'm just gonna kill this guy if I can nice he's got he's got dodge oh okay I had no idea that he actually had dodge so we're just gonna move him around about there Oh, he, no, wait a minute. He didn't have dodge. I thought that was dodge. Oh, that's catch. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look relatively similar. My bad. All right. Well, thankfully, he didn't have dodge. So we did actually take him down a notch or two. This guy is going to have some problems getting out of here. Uh, he might be able to leap, though. So that might be a bit of a problem. But hopefully it's going to be... Oh, no, no, no. He was unable to move. That's actually an extremely successful turn on our part. 
Because these guys are pretty slippery, you know? At the best of times. This claw guy is going to go. Uh, and not do anything, apparently. Very sad. Yes, I am very sad indeed. Okay, uh, can we... Really? Again? Okay, I'm just going to push him into the beast then. Just going to push him into the beast. He can just deal with him. Alright, so let's push this guy off. Okay, that's actually working. Oh, he's injured. Oh, did he get injured by the by the crowd? Did he get injured by the crowd or did we injure him? Because I'm actually not entirely sure. Uh, no, it seems like we didn't injure him, unfortunately. No, 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 we didn't injure him. Okay, that's sad, but, you know, it happens, it happens. Okay, so let's just, wow, okay, can't do much here. Gonna have to do a blitz, I suppose, with Bork. Yeah, probably gonna have to do that. Okay, let's just do this. Move him in here, then we can get another block against the other guy. There we go. Okay, that's just going to push him away. Yeah, just going to keep him here just in case. He's still in a tackle zone, so that's perfectly fine. He's still marked. And then we can just do a nice little blitz against this fellow. And we might even be able to pick up the ball. Oh, hello there. Right next to me. 67% chance. I'm going to take it. Nice. All right, we were able to pick it up. Now, technically, I could hand off the ball, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to leave him where he is. I'm going to try and murder this guy if I can. Okay, that's not going to work, but we will continue to keep him marked just by pushing him over there. And there we have it. All right. Whew. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not that bad. It's not looking particular. Oh, he failed that super hard. That was an 83% chance as well. I believe he's going to fail again. Yep, he did. He failed twice in a row on an 83% chance. That is extremely unlucky for him, but amazing for me. Oh, yes. <laughs> amazing for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kill this guy if I can. And uh, then we are going to be blitzing. Actually, uh, you know what? Do I need to blitz? No, I, I mean, I could technically go over here. Okay, so wait a second. Let's move Bark over here. And let's blitz this. Okay, that's actually working. Okay, that's actually working. Is that dodge? No, that's catch once again. Why do I continually think that's dodge? I don't know why. Okay, well, whatever the case, we're fine. And now, um, yeah, so I actually want Bark to score. So we're just going to do this, and then we're just going to throw him the ball. Boom. There we go. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Okay, I love that. Okay, so let's just mark these guys. We're just going to mark them heavily here. Make it very difficult for them to move. Both of my Noga warriors are now free to do whatever they want because they dealt with all those other fellows. And now we can hopefully do some more damage against them. And we will score in the next turn. Or at least I hope so. That was a uh, close catch right there as well, as you can see. He rolled a two on that. Okay, so here's the blitz. He has to dodge. Wow. Okay, he actually got really lucky right there. Gonna go for defense stumbles. Okay, the ball is still in play. Perfectly fine. No problem at all there. I still have two rerolls. We can easily blitz this guy, pick up the ball, and then we'll probably be out of there. Um, hopefully, at least. <laughs> Cross our fingers and hope, I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh, he failed. Okay. And yeah, he should be able to do that. Just going to roll against this catcher here. Nice. Let's get some kill. Oh, really? That was my claw guy as well. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is I will pick up the ball. Can I run? Yes, I can run after that, I think. Okay, so I'm going to get him up. 
Oh, I shouldn't have gotten him up yet. Oh, I am an imbecile. I shouldn't have gotten him up yet. Oh, well, never mind. Let's just blitz. Nice. Okay. And now I can pick up the ball with Bork. And then I can hand the ball off to Bark. But the problem with doing that is that we only have one turn to score then. I really... Uh, I kind of feel like I should just score the ball right now. But I really want to hand it off. Mm. One more turn. If Bork gets taken down, I can probably do it. Maybe. Uh, you know what? Let's just score it. Let's just score it. I don't know. I'm not sure. See, that's the thing. That, that's one of those times where you probably have to be a little bit more experienced in the game to actually understand what you would need to do in that situation to maximize your value. Obviously, for me, that would probably be throwing some more blocks. You know, I have rerolls, so throwing some more blocks would make all the sense in the world because that would make it so that you'd have more chances for skill points throw more blocks with your Noga warriors, and so on. But I'm very, very yeah, paranoid, worried, nervous, whatever, about my guy losing the ball. We could have obviously picked it up once again, but we've only got one turn to do it. And I just kind of felt like, hey, you know what? Do I want to really risk that? I don't know. Probably not. Not in that case, at least. I'm not going to rearrange my people at all. I don't really care about it that much. We're just going to be doing some uh, some blocks and everything. Can't believe that guy actually managed to make that. But it's actually fine. Uh, he uh, he actually managed to pick it up as well. Okay. Whoa. That was a that was a lucky roll and a half, wasn't it? Oh well. Never mind. It's absolutely fine. This guy's right next to Mr. Claw fellow, so he's going to get it. Or not, as the case may be. I should have just re-rolled that, you know. I literally should have just re-rolled it. That would have made much more sense. Okay, ooh, here we go. Please kill. Ah, oh, I really wanted it. I really want an injury with that guy because he has four out of six skill points. He's had four out of six skill points for a very, very long amount of time. So it would be amazing if he could actually finally level up. Same thing with this guy. Yeah, but we're getting pretty unlucky in, the, in those uh, situations. Yeah, we're also getting unlucky in this regard too. All right. Well, uh, who needs to level up? Uh, yeah, we need we need Bark to level up. So unfortunately, he's getting really unlucky in these situations too. Okay, we're just going to have him go over here. Get a, get a kill. Come on, guy. Come on, you can do this. Or not. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, what a classic. Okay, yeah, so we'll just move Bork over here, and hopefully he's going to help out this rotter to maybe uh, maybe do something. Or not. Mm, yes, that's what this series is, it, it, you know, is basically consisting of right now. Just me saying, or not, multiple times. Yeah, well, there you go. That's pretty much all I could do. I mean, I could have fouled potentially, but I don't know. I, it's unlikely with such few few players around him, I guess. Maybe like a, what, 50 to 60% chance? I don't know. Not sure if that would have been worth it. But uh, yes, anyway, the opponent is just going to play out their wonderful little blocks here. Then we're going to have to see what we, uh, what, what kind of, uh, what kind of skill points we have to spend. Because obviously Bork has finally leveled up. It's been a long time, but he is quite truly our MVP. He is very much our star player. And I'm kind of, um, I'm a bit worried. Uh, let's, let's, let's not even talk about it, okay? Let's not even talk about it because I'm thinking I'm going to jinx myself or something. Anyway, oh, look at that. We rolled a five. Very nice indeed. Okay, I'm happy with that. We got some fan factor, coach level leveled up and so on and so forth. And look at this, drunken mess. Why did drunken mess get five, five points? Was he the MVP? No. What? Why is he the MVP? Why did he become the MVP? I have no idea why he became that. Okay. Well, whatever the case. Oh, okay. This is new. We've not been up against the Wood Elf team ever before. That's going to be super interesting. And we also have Bork leveled up. And something tells me, something tells me is obviously going to be taking a block. 
but I'm not sure what Bork is going to be taking. Let's roll the dice and see. Okay, didn't get a double. Okay, so what are we actually going to take with him? I actually have no idea. I guess we're going to take Big Hand, right? He ignores modifiers for enemy tackle zones when he attempts to pick up the ball. I'm going to assume that that's probably what we want to go for. I don't think anything else is going to be particularly useful for him. Maybe. Um, but by all means, let me know what you think. I'm thinking Big Hand right now. Someone said that that seems to be good. Um, two heads could also be good about getting out of tackle zones, maybe, but I, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, let me know what you think. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.